Good morning, everyone. I'm Shuo Chen Su from the University of British Columbia, and I will be presenting our paper on deep video deblurring for handheld cameras. Motion blur and camera shake are two coupled problems in videos captured by handheld devices. While stabilization techniques have been improved dramatically, motion blur remains a significant problem in the stabilized footage. This is because blur is made more visible without motion to accompany it, yielding annoying jumping artifacts. We propose a robust deep learning solution to video deep blurring that effectively reduces those artifacts. It is highly efficient and fully automatic. Similar to other video deep blurring methods, our approach exploits the fact that camera shape caused by hand tremor is essentially random across the temporal axis, which leads to differently blurred content and the potential existence of sharper regions. By detecting and aggregating sharp information from nearby frames, the central reference image in the stack can be restored. However, the success of multi-frame aggregation relies heavily on frame registration, which traditionally requires the joint optimization of over latent sharp frame, working function, blur kernel, noise, and occlusions. It is expensive to compute and prone to artifacts shown here. Instead of solving the inverse deconvolution problem, we introduce a deep learning solution to video deep blurring, where an encoder-decoder network is trained end-to-end, -end, leveraging high-level scene information. Our network consists of three types of convolutional layers. Down-convolutional layers that compress the spatial resolution of the features while increasing the receptive field. Flat convolutional layers, which perform nonlinear mapping and preserve the image size. And finally, up-convolutional layers that increase the spatial resolution. The input to our network is a stack of five consecutive frames under different alignment configurations, and the output is the processed central frame. We show that we can generate good results in the presence of working artifacts, as well as when aligned with homography or even without any alignment. To train our method, we capture high frame rate videos which are used to generate synthetic long exposures. We can then treat the input sharp frames as ground truth. Our dataset consists of 71 videos recorded across multiple devices in a variety of scenes from which we generate 2 million training patches. We now present some results from our method, which are shown on the right. And here are the freeze frames. We also compare with other approaches. Our method is significantly more efficient and generate results that are often as good as or superior to the state of the art. In addition, we conducted a number of experiments evaluating the effect of alignment with varying input blurriness. Extensive evaluation shows that our method relaxes the need for explicit frame registration. Quantitative results also reveal the fact that different alignment methods should be used depending on the input sharpness. We believe that similar strategies could be applied to other aggregation-based applications as well. For detailed analysis and discussions, please refer to our paper. In summary, we have presented a learning-based approach to multi-image video deblurring. Our code and dataset have been made publicly available on the project webpage, and you are welcome to stop by our poster later today. Thank you.